Hey guys, this is James. And this is Denny from TDB, bringing you guys episode 185. Yep. So today we are brewing some tea that was sent to us by a private collector, uh, Gerardo, who also has a website, farwinwa.wordpress.com. Uh, so he sells a little, a few of his teas. He's a private collector. He's been storing his teas in the U.S. for a while. Thank you, sir. Um, and uh, this tea is... It was titled Many Bings, so it's a bit of a house mix um, of older teas from 1998, I believe, to 2003. Cool. Yep, so we are going to uh, get started right away. Sorry, what, what does it take to be a private collector? Are you a private collector now? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, let me uh, rub some bamboo. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh my god. Um, yeah. uh, you'll I notice the soundstage you're, you're is right. being uh, disintegrated behind us right you're now. Right. We're, uh, we're moving into a bigger production. Yes, true. Stevie! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm excited to try this tea. Presumably, it was stored um, somewhere in Asia uh, mm -hmm. until about 2005, 2006. Cool. And in, uh, actually in uh, Wenatchee since then where Dorado is based. Got it. Cool. Fairly local. Wenatchee is quite dry. Wenatchee is in uh, Washington, for you guys Ooh. not familiar. Some real herbal stuff. Real good sweetness. Mix of, yeah, I mean, it yeah. smells like a blend. Sweet, Mix of a lot of aroma, stuff. Yeah. So we would <clears> expect <throat> it to be a little bit more complex mm -hmm. as a result. Yeah. So I wonder with blends, blends are not typically, and we'll see how this tastes, blends are not typically something that you just sort of mix it all up and just, it's better that way. It's not like, uh, I don't know if you kids were, if you guys were kids where you would have the soda machine and you would just sort of hit every one of them until your soda was full. Yeah. Well, the graveyard yeah. soda. Uh, we could use a little bit of Sprite. Yeah. A little bit little of Dr. Vibe. Pepper and Sprite and yeah. Coke Some and Barclays. Some orange juice, too. Yeah. Orange juice and, and, and you know, why not really a good. little bit of adult beverage? <laughs> a little bit of Maker's Mark, you know? Okay, well, yeah. um, I wasn't doing that when I was eight. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, so, um, so, the, so having talked to Scott a fair amount about this, too, Scott Wilson over at, um, uh, you know, sourcing, um, the blending is sort of it's an art it's a, absolutely an art I mean there's no science to it it's just about getting the configurations of the ratios right to where it tastes great and then throwing it all together um, so who knows how much uh, intentionality was involved at this brew that being said it smells great yep and this being an older Colors. tea we would expect it to evolve a fair amount early on so definitely different color material yeah. in here too some darker and more green Yeah, I'm getting definitely some woody notes uh, off of that for sure. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Good, good body um, out of the first steeping. We did one rinse, right? One rinse, and we can good, see the nice color has gotten progressively um, darker. I think it has a uh, reasonable viscosity. Mm -hmm. mm. It's got a nice sweetness. A little bit of like pitted fruit, fruit dry fruits kind of sweetness. Yeah, to it. definitely on the dry end of stuff. This is not. I think this is not. If if this was stored in southern China or in Asia for longer, mm. I think this we'd have a little bit more um, dankness or a yep. little bit, a little bit browner color at least. So far, so good. This tastes to me, the age-wise on this, tastes like it's gotten over that hump of that really verdant green um, rock and it's developing into that sort of mid-zone where it's not red, it's, it's orange. It's orange, it's, but clearly it's orange. Um, and uh, so it's bringing elements of those PD intense earthy notes but in a more subtle way because of the age, which is nice, it's appealing. It's got mm -hmm. really good um, fruit notes too. I think there's a little bit of 
it's a lot of sweetness flavors going on that make it a little bit harder to discern what the sweets exactly and is. it's a little bit difficult to place as a result right. i think of being very blended um but it's leaving a nice sweetness in my mouth uh sort of at the top of my throat yeah very pleasant cheers, cheers. i actually really like the mouthfeel of this um it's got just a really great viscosity to it it's nice um more floral and woody, I guess, is what I'm getting mm. out of this seat. Still has that sort of dry fruit thing going on. Not too much in terms of the... Uh, there's not too much tannin, there's not too much tartness, it's not that sour. So, for you, it sounds like it's being very uh, middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's not know. very extreme. It's not exactly. aged, but it's not unaged. Our uh, production studio guest in the background is uh, is walking through the set right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thirty of them back there. Thirty of them. There's a yeah. director. There's uh, JJ, my buddy back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's uh, Stevie Spielberg. Stevie. <laughs> That's that's, yeah, that's that's the actual scene. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, so yeah, so this is an interesting tea because it's just this kind of it's this blend of these old teas that are good. It's probably a little bit of sort of the dregs of these different bins, um, which they're good tea by themselves. Adding it all together, it doesn't necessarily amplify. And it's not one plus one equals eleven. It's sort of one plus one equals two. Um, um, I think. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting, it's an interesting tea to be drinking, um, or teas. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Good color. Good. Good. Nice and clean. It's a good base material. Mhm. Mm Cheers, guys. <sighs> Getting more. Yeah, James. This floral. Sm more floral. Sm smooth. Mhm. Mm little bit of that that stickiness but not yeah a little bit of that sort of like syrupiness that sort of like sort of that interesting mouthfeel and sort of mm -hmm. sticks in your mouth I, I get that too yeah this is solid I wouldn't say this is like a home run yeah it's not blowing my mind but but that's not bad this is a great tea that so so you know we talk about friendliness. What would you? How do you rate this in terms of approachability for someone who's just getting started with Rockler? I'd say it's relatively friendly. I don't think it's the most friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not. Uh, I I think it would be possible to overbrew this. Uh, for instance, uh, like I think if you did brew this for a little bit longer, you would definitely get a little bit more bitterness. Or if you weren't acclimated to pour, it definitely tastes like a pour. Mm. Uh, but I wouldn't say I would say that it's also much smoother than something that's younger. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. in that sense, it is friendly, mm -hmm. um, and it does leave a really nice, yeah. I think, sweet aftertaste exactly. in the mouth. So I, I appreciate that. that aspect of the tea for sure. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I'm sitting here just experiencing the sweetness of those fruit aromas still in my mouth and a little bit in the throat. <clears throat> it's not one of those full body ones. Um, it's I put it kind of more on the side of warming but pretty neutral there. Um, yeah, this is this is a delightful tea. It's great. Thank you very much. What was the... Gerardo. 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 Yeah. Um, excuse me for for offering this to us because obviously it's great we don't bring stuff on the show that's not good usually mm -hmm. uh, unless it's Lipton in which case bring it on love our Lipton <laughs> don't don't send us Lipton <laughs> this is getting a little bit bolder and stronger well, yeah a little bit more mushroomy interestingly enough yeah I, I think I like it a little bit more it's a little bit stronger for sure um it has like a nice soft big body I think to it right yeah. now yeah um, and uh, yeah and I, I, I think this tea I mean if you take a look at the base material you can just see all kinds of different stuff in there That's exactly some <clears> big <throat> I mean, leaves some smaller leaves let's see if we can get this up stems. here but just even on the I'm sure that's not going to be it's going to be zoomed out but we got we have green nice and green all the way to nice and dark mm -hmm. um, in here so the actual Material itself, yeah, it's quite diverse, um, but yep. good quality, nice big leaves here. Um, 
Yeah. Really yeah. yummy. So, uh, Denny, where could someone find out more about tea? Um, check us out on tdb.org. We uh, are producing a video a week and have been for a long time. A long time at this point. Um, reach out to us on email, tdborg at gmail.com. If you want to send us stuff, uh, we will take a look and maybe review it um, or do whatever the hell we do on the show for it. Or uh, just ignore it forever. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Cut that part out. I know you're not going to. Okay. Uh, sign up for all the social stuff, yada, yada. Who cares? Do that, though. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more of these ridiculous drinks, drinkings, tea tastings. Um, comment below with uh, yeah. whatever your favorite fruit. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so your fruit. Fruit. yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you, uh, Gerardo, for sending us this. Check them out at farwinwat.com.